My name is Michael Potts. I live on this Scepter 36 foot sailboat. This is where I'm today. I'm in Miami, and this is the Venetian Islands, Flagler Memorial Island, and the city of Miami Beach is right there. There's a bill being passed in the Florida legislature right now where they wish to get rid of the boating issue in Miami Beach. They're creating things called ALAs, Anchor Limited Areas. What does this bill mean? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Let's go see for ourselves what's going on. So right there is the Miami Beach Yacht Club. And uh, according to the rumor is that there's, if you can find a mooring ball here, you can keep a boat on it. There's no fee, no charge. These are free mooring balls. All right, that's, that's some critical inf information for you guys right there. Uh, this may change. Uh, I think what they're trying to do is get people off the areas over there. I don't see any boats over there. Maybe, I, uh, maybe I'm just too far away. Let's go see if there's sailboats there. I, I, you know, I'm reading news uh, articles from like a month ago. Let's go find out for ourselves. We'll put the drone up once we get over to uh, Flagler Memorial, which is over there. And we'll take a good look around. I wouldn't be surprised if there's no sailboats anchored in North Miami Beach there. Because uh, they're really cracking down. And I'm gonna get into exactly what the bill proposed in just a few moments here. So stick around. The following is an article from the Waterway Guide, the Cruising Authority. A bill is being considered in the Florida legislature this year that would eliminate anchoring within 200 yards of the shoreline of the city of Miami Beach between the MacArthur and Julia Tuttle causeways. As most of the remainder of Biscayne Bay is very shallow, this bill would eliminate overnight anchoring in most of the bay, which is a must needed spot and staging ground for slower boats heading to or from the Bahamas or Keys. If the attempt to put an end to overnight anchoring in this area doesn't sound egregious on the surface, please note that there are no other options available and many regulations are already in place to solve Miami Beach's perceived problems with boats anchored in Biscayne Bay long-term. Recreational boating organizations have been working for years in Tallahassee to preserve your ability to anchor in Florida. In 2015, when cruisers were absent from the capital, waterfront homeowners and their lobbyists were able to push through a bill that eliminated overnight anchoring in three of the Venetian islands, which are part of the city of Miami Beach and are in Biscayne Bay. After losing those anchorages, several cruising associations became active and in the nearly 10 years since then, have fought successfully to ensure that the many bills filed to close more anchorages to overnight stays were defeated. In 2021, as both sides grew weary of the year after year fight, the stakeholders reached a compromise that received widespread support, passed in both houses of the legislature and was signed into law by the governor. The compromise created anchoring limited areas, ALAs, and a process by which counties can establish them. ALAs cannot be more than 100 acres in size, must be marked, and the aggregate total of ALAs in a specific county may not be more than 10% of the navigable waterways. A county must work through the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the FWC, and a public hearing process to establish an ALA. This was a win for cruisers because even where an ALA is in place, vessels can remain at anchor for up to 45 days, which is more than enough for active cruisers. For the cities and counties, ALAs were said to give more teeth to their legal authority and rid the waterways of derelict and long-term stored vessels that haven't moved for more than 45 days. As a part of that legislation, the three Venetian islands that were already closed to overnight anchoring were grandfathered with that status. But the expectation was that new anchoring restrictions 
would come via the new ALA procedure. Instead of following the process set forth to establish an ALA through the county and FWC, the city of Miami Beach chose to crack open the grandfathered part of the state code in attempt to close its shoreline and 200 yards beyond it to overnight anchoring. While places like Jacksonville, Hollywood, and Pinellas County are using the ALA as expected, Miami Beach decided to bypass that process in favor of a complete closure. We have made it to Miami Beach and there are sailboats here. So maybe the bill didn't pass. Looks like there's boats within 200 yards or 700 feet of the shore here. So there are, there are some old boats here, as you can see. That is the issue. I think the people just don't like the, the old derelict boats and the criminal activity, people going ashore. Uh, you know, you gotta be wealthy to live in a place like this. And I'm sure the rent in these buildings is, uh, you know, four or $5,000 for a small apartment. Anyway, we're gonna, I need to get uh, diesel and gasoline and I know a secret spot in there. You're not allowed to go ashore here. The moment you go ashore here, they're waiting for you and they're gonna give you a ticket. They're gonna give you a citation. But I know a place where you can legally go ashore and we're gonna go there right now and fill up with gasoline, diesel, and I also need to get plum sauce. Got a bunch of chicken with no sauce. So let's get out here, let's get in there. So we're, we're, we're definitely gonna be far off in the Bahamas soon enough. So let's get as much diesel and gas as we can now for the best price. Let's go get it. A lot of you guys probably watched the channel in too deep. Well, that's, the, that's their boat right there. It's a great YouTube channel, check it out. He's a really good guy, they got a good captain too. Of course, he gets half a million views on his videos. <laughs> up here and you can't be within 30 feet of one of these signs so they put signs all the way up this river here now there is a Publix right here see that and there used to be a dock right here but the city took it away because that's how people were sustaining themselves that anchor in the bay over there I one on, on other interesting thing here is this this facade right here I was told that this is actually the the opening scene for an Al Pacino movie, Scarface. Kind of cool. Was shot right here. A little other note on that. I actually uh, worked with uh, Al Pacino on a movie called 88 Minutes. I was the motion picture video coordinator. Kind of cool. I'm in the first 20 credits of the show. <laughs> so anyway, let's continue on to the secret spot, which is up the river here. Well, I've been recognized. I'm here with Rich. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. And uh, we just met on the river here. Very cool, I just got some great information which I'm gonna tell you in a second here from Rich about another secret spot where you can get really good 
fuel. And uh, maybe if I see Rich in the future, I can come by and say hello. All right. It is Miami River. So you head up Miami River and you, there's a little tributary. I believe it's that, that one. But the first left turn you could make, I think it's that one right there. You make a left down there. There's a whole bunch of boats stocked along there, so it's steep enough. Okay. And you go all the way to the end. You have to go by dinghy because it's going to be shallow right, right, water. Right, right, right. You go all the way to the end, and you walk across the street, and there's a cheap gas station. Do you remember cheap. the name of it? Uh, uh, what's it called? I don't. Yeah. Okay. So, but, uh, yeah, but is it, when you're when you're if you're facing up the tributary, is it on the left at the end or the right? It's uh, w once you get to the end, yeah, it's, it would be to your left side. If you cross the street. You just carry your cans across. Uh, they got diesel and they got gas. The morning light is wandering on my face. I can't believe I don't know the day, the time, the place. I drive around in a city full of shame. Everything was hollow when you are away. When it interesting look it's filled to there and filled to there and right now it's filled to here so it said it pumped 15 gallons well 14.4 that isn't 14.4 gallons so this is a ripoff man I'll tell you that just makes me my blood boil well I couldn't find uh, sweet and sour sauce so that's no good anyway Let's get back to the boat. Made it back to the boat. So, three jugs of diesel was 82 bucks, and one jug of gas was 30. All right, so not that big of a savings, but it's a lot less expensive in a gas station than in the rich part of Miami Beach. Hope you found the video interesting. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Is Miami Beach going a little too far here by eliminating these boats that are here? Are they really creating that much of a nuisance? Make your comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you want to feel connected and become a part of the sailing community, please join my Patreon. If you'd like to see more of this, this content and support me, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. What's next for me? I'm going to uh, head over to Fisher Island, which is right over there. Wait for a weather window to cross into the Bahamas. That'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching right to the end. Hope you found it interesting. Captain Michael, signing out. Say